Hey guys, back with another video on C Sharp actually. So today I'm actually going to do a photo renamer app, which is just a nice little application that you can, it's not, it doesn't have to be just photos, it can be any file really, but that's what I'm just using it for. But so uh, let's jump right into it. So we can actually, I'm going to start it up just to show you how it looks. <clears throat> so we have a choose directory button. Um, a rename files button, a read only text box that shows you the um, directory that it's in. Also, this is the before box. This lists all of the files in a directory before I rename them. And then this is after, which this is just a preview. This is, hasn't been written yet. This is just to show you what it looks like. And then this will finalize it, but it will only copy it. It will not um, write over the files so for example right now I have 43 files in this directory on my desktop so if I actually rename these it says 86 now and if I go into this folder I have all the originals plus the um, you know duplicate files with the, the renamed ones so that's how it works and also it has a rem it has a, a text file to remember what um, directory it was in so if I exit out of that and go back into it it'll still be on the uh, same directory grad picks so has a remembrance on it so just a quick overview of the form it's pretty much two buttons um, a read-only text box so you can't um, change the path on accident uh, a drop down for uh, different file types so if I click PNG there's no PNGs in this folder but if I go back to JPEG it'll be back there and then this just literally says the number of files in the directory and then this also writes the number of files so it'll be like if there's 43 in that directory it'll be like rename 43 files it's pretty much just happens on the executable so if we go to the code there's two main components and then one kind of third wheel component so the first one is the path source so this is going to write the files into the two combo boxes or not the combo boxes but the list boxes so when the folder when you open the folder br uh, browser dialog right here it will you know you can pick what directory you want to go into and then when it goes and when it goes through that directory it's going to grab that path that you picked so if I go to um, let's see this PC let's go to desktop and let's go to documents so if I go to that that's going to give me a new path so that pretty much um, so when you open the folder brow browser dialog it opens the dialog box and then the result is whatever you pick so the result is going to be the path so if the result is equal to ok which when you press ok that will make the path stamp dot text equal to the selected path which this is the path stamp uh, text box that's the name of it so whatever path you pick will be put into this plus a um, backslash only reason I do that is because once we we need that extra backslash so that we can add on to the path once we rename the files so if you don't it'll give you an error so do that and I also clear all of the I items from both preview from both uh, list boxes so the only reason I do that is because if you write if you don't clear it it'll just keep writing this the same files over and over so if you run this twice it'll just keep adding onto the list box so you want to clear every time so uh, then we go into a directory info so directory info we instantiate a new directory info called D and then we make that at the selected path um, and then that selected path we get file info array of files so pretty much this just puts all the files in the directory into an array 
and then we get files with the extension combo dot text now this is the extension combo so whatever the extension combo is on so I put as a star a star is pretty much the wild card so it means everything if I go to PNG it'll get rid of that JPEG if I go to J or not JPEG if I do oh, it's an ICO I don't have that on here but if I had ICO I would just do ICO but so yeah see how it writes rename four files number files four so pretty much this just gets the extension combo and puts it here so it can sort it and then I loop through each file for each file info file in files which is the array of files um, I add them all to the left text box as their regular file dot name which I want them to be this the name they were before so you can see the difference and then preview files is the right list box and that this one's a little this one could probably be written better but it's just the way I did it for now but I pretty much add them all but file name so the year month day dash hour da or dash hour minute second and then the file dot extension so it gives you the you know the date plus the time because if you do the date only and you took a bunch of pictures on the same date it's gonna be the same you know the same name and it's gonna you know give you a problem so if you do it by the um, the time then that's fine so after we do all this for each statement I make the file number dot text equal to the number of files so number of files plus the files dot length which is that the four and then I do rename the files dot length files so it just writes these two just to make it a little you know you're like oh rename four files you know a little nicer and then I made a new string called chosen path and I equal that to the you know the chosen dialogue path plus that backslash and then I write all the text so I write the that text file that I said I had to remember the last path when you exit the application so I write the entire um, text file with an empty string and then I just to clear it out and then I write all text with the chosen path and then I put that in a um, and then else I put nothing so you can put some error if you want but I just didn't so that's pretty much what happens when you do the path source when I do rename files which when I click it it will copy all the files into that same directory and with the new names so it's pretty simple it's pretty much the exact same thing um, so you make a new directory info with the path stamp dot text so this is the path stamp so whatever's in here will be used and that's why I need that backslash at the end that I told you to put because when we um, get it you want the file dot full name file dot full name gives you the full path of the file so if you get the full path then um, you need that extra backslash so you know new file info of array of files and then the extension combo which is you know the filter boom and then loop through it again and then pretty much you're just doing file dot copy and then this is the path that it's going to and then I'm writing the exact same thing um, that I did here in the preview because you don't want to do something different from the preview so it's the exact same and then I do a refresh of the thing which is a new method and I'll show you what I did for the refresh method I did a try catch so in the try I pretty much do clear all the items from both list boxes again I get the path I make a new you know array of the files and I loop through them again then you know I make all the files so pretty much it's just you know if the if the directory was changed before it'll just refresh it 
and we want to do that because when we write it we are going to want to refresh the entire thing because new files will be added to that directory so that's just the refresh and then yeah so I call that after that so those are the big main things but I want to show you what I do on load because on load is pretty much the exact same thing as the refresh but I get a string array of the path a string array called path changed equal to the file dot read all lines path so I'm pretty much reading the text file with the written path from the last time you close the application and I make the path stamp dot text which is this equal to the path change at array position zero because this is going to be one line text file so it's going to be the first line so I want to make it the zero uh, you know the index zero of the array and then literally just going to do the exact same thing I did in the refresh method which I could call the refresh here but I didn't which I should it would probably make it less you know less lines but that's pretty much the same thing that happens on load and since we're on load if we go here to the XAML let's actually stop this if I select the whole form I actually have a I clicked you know double clicked in this rectangle I have a Windows window loaded um, event handler and I literally put on load in here so every time that window is open it runs the on load um, the on load method so and then I have two other methods so extension combo mouse leave so this is the part that kinda isn't the best but it still works out see if I open the extension combo and when I press PNG the only reason that that changes is because the mouse left the combo box because when I click it's gonna be you know off of the combo box so that's why I do that because like if I did if I rename four files and I didn't make it refresh and I put my mouse over the combo box it would refresh because I have it set that way but since so it it works it's not the most perfect thing and then I have one more thing which is the change drive which literally just runs path source which is the first one we looked at which change drive click is when I change the directory so when I click this I change the drive or change the directory and when I click you know when I finish that click it's gonna run the path source command to run you know get the you know put the uh, path into this box write that path to the text file so the next time you leave it's there and then you know so you can do this with any files I mean look, I, you can add a uh, for example so I have all those file extensions you can add as many as you want so here is the XAML for the form so pretty much I just have the two buttons the text box and then I have the combo box here so I pretty much called it extension combo and then I just have all the items you can add as many as you want the only reason I put them like this is because I'm reading the text from the actual combo box picked item so it needs to be the correct format so I have star as the first one then star dot PNG and so on you can do as many combos combo items as you want I put this most simple photo you know three photo three video but there's others like Ico you know tiff a lot of other one a lot of other extensions then I have the past stamp text box and the two list boxes right here so if you wanted to look at this and this is the grid for it and I also have it locked on the height and width so I have the min height max all to the same thing because I just don't full screen it kind of looks stupid so yeah so pretty much if you want to look at it one more time 
you know it'll have the date I actually have this on date modified which picture when you modify a picture it's usually mo last modified when the picture was taken because usually you don't like modify a picture you modify like a text file and that wouldn't work at the you know that wouldn't work you need that like when it was created but since last modified is when the picture was actually taken it usually gives you know pretty accurate like if your camera it has the right time and you want to load those it should be you know pretty accurate if you have the time as accurate as possible so you'll have the exact date and time that it was taken unless you copy the file and you make a copy of it like an actual copy in the same folder then that one will be different but if it's the original then you're good or if you copy that to a different folder then it will be the same one and it won't be a copy of it in the same folder so it, this helped you guys or get, you know helped you make this application or helped you with something else uh, if you need any help I'll, you can leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you and I'll see you in the next one